Hello humans, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey, and we are back with some more Outlast 2. It looks like we're having to do this part again, but that's fine. Um... Oh shit. We are in some plague-ridden area. We were looking for the mines and got sidetracked here where we have been crucified so far and lost our camera in the process. Do they see us? How did we get past this last time? Alright, let's go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's Nick and Laird. Laird is the little tiny monster on top of the gigantic monster. They took our camera. The last time I was here... Uh, I tried to get the camera back from them, but it was a lantern. God, I can't see anything without that camera. Goddamn vultures. Oh, How shit. Corpses did you pick over? Well, that was easy. Hell yeah. I hope it saved I us here. Coming back earlier. What the fuck? Oh, we're back at the school. Oh, we're back at the school. Get this place. All right. It's been a couple of days since I played. <laughs> Forgot all the buttons. D N T L T M G. What could this be? Don't let me go. Don't let me go, I bet. So. <laughs> and the only option is put down. That's funny. Don't let me go. I guess that's another message from Jessica. I really want to know what the story is with her. Like, I find what's going on with her much more intriguing than actually what's going on in this whole real world that we're in, which I have my doubts about how real that world is. Oh. So I guess it's the cafeteria. Sorry, I'm just, uh, admiring the game, <laughs> where it's been a little bit since I've played. Oh, shit! It's just like I remembered it. What the hell was that? Man. You guys just don't know how loud that stuff is in your ear. It scares the bejesus out of you. Well, you probably do know if you played it with headphones on. But, gosh. Anyway, we saw some figure walking around earlier last time we were here, and I'm guessing that's the same one. Well, yeah, we actually saw it once, I think. It was monstrous. I got a good look at it when I was editing that playthrough. It's like, like it had a bunch of arms and stuff. Oh, another one. What is it? It's, okay. Well, something the children. Suffer the children. Suffer the children. Don't let me go and suffer the children. I mean, part of me is starting to think that maybe this is the real world and that other place is not. I don't know how that would work out at all, but... I don't know. It feels like some sort of big twist like that is just getting ready to happen. Don't you think? Uh, no! What the shit? Try to turn it up a little bit. Oh, it was still playing? Was it? Right. 
Right. On our last episode, I uh, played one of these backwards and slowed it down a little bit. And it seemed to me that it was definitely saying something, but I just couldn't make out what it was. I tried to kind of cancel out some of the staticky noise and everything to see if it would make it easier, but it didn't. Hmm. But that seems like it's saying something backwards. Oh. Just take my camera down. So it looks like something is interfering with this dimension. Maybe it's the upside down. Well, dimension, I don't... <laughs> it's presented to us as a dream, but... I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Check. Oh, nuts. We have a telephone. I don't think it's this one. There's that computer again. Is anything new on it? Nope. Nope. Where's that phone? I hear you, battery. Simmer down. I'll change you. Oh, is this like, what it's like to have children? Where's that phone at? Is that a phone? You're just now hearing this. Come on, Blake. Hello, humans. My name is Devitz, aka The Gutter Monkey, and you probably already know that because I said it, I think about seven minutes ago in this video. Keeping in tradition, as with almost every other Let's Play I've done, something has gone kablooey in my recordings. This time around it has been my commentary, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk over the gameplay right now. I think my computer is just, just really crappy, is what the <laughs> big problem is here. Because something is always going wrong, going wrong at least one time on each Let's Play that I do. So it, it's going to be like this for the remainder of this video and the entire next video. But I will probably upload both of those at the same time and then a new video right along with them, which I've not played yet. <laughs> and I've not played this game in maybe two weeks now, so I gotta tell you, my memory's a bit hazy <laughs> as for what's happened, but it'll probably come back to me as I keep watching. I know right now we're looking for this phone. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All right, well, that was loud and scary. <laughs> I wonder what that monster is. I got a good, I think I said this earlier in the video, actually, but I got a good look at it. At one point, it, just had, it was had like a bunch of arms. And that monster being around here is just furthering my suspicions that this place is not just imaginary or a dream or a memory. I mean, we just died in a dream in what's in what we're meant to believe is a dream. That's not, you know, that's not normal unless this is, you know, Elm Street. Which actually, I, w I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't put it past the game for this to be Elm Street. I hope this is one of those games where they like actually explain this stuff to you, or at least give you enough to go on by the end of it. it doesn't just leave you hanging, wondering what the hell's going on. 
You know, we find the, finally found the phone, we're just staring at it. Answer the phone! Come on, Blake. Hello? Hello? Oh, thank God you're alive. I need you to stay calm. We're going to get you help. We'll get you out of there. I want you to find a place to hide. Some place safe where you can remember the taste of her kiss when you felt her neck break, you diseased cocksucker. <laughs> ah. So yeah, that was a that was a phone call from Gene Simmons. I'm thinking that uh Does that voice sound like us to you? I think it sounded like us. Hmm. And when we played that well, we heard a voice earlier and I thought that sounded like us too. It was all strange. And that's obviously talking about Jessica, who has I mean, I think it's pretty clear that she's hung herself now. I guess somebody else could have hung her, but the point is she got hung. I'm thinking she hung herself. And actually, the way they keep blaming us for it, or we keep blaming our, our, ourselves for it, seems like we're full of, like, guilt. Oh my god. I'm thinking maybe she did it over us. And if you remember, at the very beginning of the game, when we were looking at her locker, I think it was at the very beginning, uh, our wife, when she was a kid, she was writing a note to Jessica, or vice versa, they were writing notes to each other, and they were talking about how Jessica had a crush on Blake, you know? So I don't know, maybe, maybe Jessica hung herself after finding out that Blake was hooking up with our now wife. Hmm. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Ah, there she is. Right through the wall. It's a very poltergeist of you, Jessica. I'm gonna find us in here. We're in a closet. In the closet. So to speak. Looks like Kurt Cobain's closet. Added Fury Per Aspera. I believe that's Latin, but I have no idea what it says. Set us free. Well, maybe it says set us free. <laughs> Carpe Abysm Atrium. I'm gonna have to, like, Google some of this. I guess I could right now, but... I don't really wanna miss this. Uh, Laird, there's nothing so wretched among the afflicted as self-pity, and I trust you not to allow your self-satisfaction in such a womanly sin. The disciples have, in, have entrusted you to lead our hungry and in pain and afraid. It is a necessity of the of their physical sin and the will of God. I send to you all the food and the wine that God wants you to have, and no more. I've had visions of this plague worsening, of all our suffering reaching a point at which none of, none of us will be able to further endure. So rejoice! Take comfort that we will soon reach the center of this suffering and emerge into a paradise everlasting. If you cannot control your people by your tongue, then do so by the fist of your mount. Papa loves you. God put down. I can't I can't read it. Apparently me and Okay. God will deliver you. Noth. P.S. I've included a, a satchel of the uh, salted crickets Nick so loves. Please see that it, he gets them and knows they're a gift from me. <clears throat> so that's Nick and Laird that Noth is writing about right there. It looks like he's writing to Laird. I mean, get, I'm guessing Nick is a bit mentally challenged. That's the big guy. And Laird is the uh, little tiny monster on top of him. A little homunculus. Holy shit. Right, well. 
flaming arrows. Right. See, as soon as we get out of the closet, we're flaming. But um, bump. I think that might have been Laird and Noth. Don't they shoot arrows? I can't remember. Oh, by God. Did I say Laird and Noth? Laird and Nick, I mean. Oh my God. Grab the battery. Good. Okay, just get out. I dread going back to this game. I mean, I love the game, don't get me wrong. I don't know if I love it, I like it a lot. But, jeez, this really wears on your nerves. I hate that so much of it is taking place in an outside area like this, though. I really do. It's just that it looks so much the same all over the place that it's so easy for me to get lost. And I already have terrible uh, navigation skills as it is. Okay, so I don't remember where we're going at all. I thought about reviewing the full playthrough before I started uh, talking over it now, but uh, I don't know, it seemed like it'd be more fun to just not remember some of it. So I didn't. Like, that's the entire reason I didn't. So I've just shut off the lights and <laughs> put this on the screen and just started talking. Ooh. I don't know. It's like I hate being scared, but I also love it. I guess that's normal. Or not. Maybe not. All right, just go in there. Come on. Nope, nope. Why? Where are you going? Where am I going? What? Oh, you know what? That's that cabin we came from, isn't it? That's the one we started out in. That's why I went to go in there. I went the wrong way. Classic me. Classic. Oh, look at that barbed wire. Somebody's been setting booby trap. Holy shit. There's Laird and Nick. And there they are. Kind of like Lenny and George um, of Mice and Men. They're going to come pet me like a bunny. Ugh. <laughs> I obviously don't know what to do here. Look at me. Sometimes I wonder if it's just better to just take off running on this game. I, I like sneaking around on a lot of stuff, but I don't know. For Outlast, I kind of don't. I, like, I just want to just move forward. But clearly, I'm hesitant. I would even if even if I was playing this at right this moment, I would still be tiptoeing around like this. Just the old Metal Gear habit. Holy God, get down. I swear I thought I was going to run right into that. I don't remember if they see us or not. I mean, how could they not see us? What, are we hiding behind a twig? Jesus, what? Oh God. Just sit still. Oh shit. Yeah, they saw us. Oh my god. They're the ones shooting arrows. Yep. Oh, 
God damn! Okay, see, I, I was assuming that we would be safe here on the ledge because, I mean, not to body shame, but Nick is a bit of a lard ass, so I couldn't really fathom him shimming over through here. Nor can I see him shimming through this, uh, uh, walkway, this tree. Grab the battery, there we go. Peep around for notes, and nothing. And vamoose. Try to avoid any kamikaze mosquitoes this time. Ugh. Alright, well, that's, that might actually be worse than kamikaze mosquitoes. Jesus, got friggin' the Prince of Thieves after us. Oh my god. Do I die here? I don't remember. Oh, I remember this thing. What the hell? Is this a person? His arms look abnormally long like a monkey man that's been shaved and... and Infected with leprosy. Well, my name's not Jordan. Sounds kind of like Gomer Pyle. It's a good topical reference for the kids. Oh, God! All right. That's us, the Messiah. Yep. Whew, okay, I did not remember that happened. It's neat, just grab this bandage and go ahead and boot scoot the hell out of here, I guess. I don't, oh my god. Okay, I don't remember him coming after us either. Okay. Jesus. Alright, damn. There's a lot going on here. See, I thought about just skipping through this video entirely. I'm happy I didn't. Look, Jesus Christ, look at all the shit that's happening. Go on, Blake. Slash Nevitz. Oh, no, there's a bandage. I just walked right over top of it. Grab it. No, you missed the bandage, stupid. Oh, god damn. Is that the same guy? Jesus, he is weirdly quick. And we're still getting arrowed by friggin' retarded Daryl Dixon. Or mentally challenged Daryl Dixon, I guess. Oh boy. All right. No. That's typical, isn't it? Oh, there they are. How the hell did they get over here so quick? You ever seen Serpent in the Rainbow? Uh, it just came to my mind. Now, don't worry, we are going to be fine. Luckily, Blake has seen Kill Bill and knows exactly what to do during this moment. Come on. Use the force, Blake. 
Use the force, Blake. There we go. Punch your way out of it. In America, that's how we solve all problems. Or shoot, but we don't have a gun. <clears throat> all right. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember this area pretty well, unfortunately. Like, I don't think we're here long, but I really despise it. <laughs> but we're gonna get more into this area next time, though. I think... I don't make it out of here... alive. Spoilers. Look at me, so innocent. I don't know what's- I don't know what's happening. See, there's little, there's little big bosses slithering around. Do you see it on the l left there? I don't know if, there he is. See, look at that. All right. Okay, see, that's, that's, that's horrible. And it's about to get more horrible. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I knew it was gonna happen and it made me jump. <laughs> But yeah, we'll traverse that horrendous territory next time. So, until then, oh, and next time I am going to be, as I said earlier, I'm going to be talking over it just like I am right now because the audio messed up completely on the last, uh, on the last one there. So, yeah. Until then, my name is Nevitz, aka The Gutter Monkey. Sorry about this again, whoever stumbles on this. Uh, goodbye.